we're going to see companies uh, uh, customizing their own software. Uh, so, so think about Palantir and mm-hmm. Foundation Mo- uh, and infrastructure as a service. So, so- All right, folks, let's talk about Kathy Wood and Palantir. I know many of you are probably confused because she sold a lot of her shares over the past couple of weeks. Yes, she sold, but this is not because she lost faith in Palantir or anything like that. In fact, in her latest interview with Bloomberg, she dropped quite a number of insights that most people aren't even considering as far as where AI is going next. Now, here is what's important for us, the Palantir shareholders. This is big. AI is shifting, and it is going in direction that plays right into Palantir's strengths. Not only Palantir is in the game, but they're actually leading the pack. Welcome back, everyone. This is Munir from Fast Dollar. Let's hear what she said first. We've been doing research on AI for 10 years now. Mm-hmm. That's why we were so early into NVIDIA. Uh, obviously, taken it down in most of our portfolios out of the flagship. One of the things that we've been looking for is the next big play. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, we think NVIDIA is still a fine stock. But in terms of the unexpected out there, um, we do think it's going to be in the software layers. Uh, And as you know, Palantir Mm -hmm. has become a big position for us in the top 10. UiPath as well, it had a stumble, but it's coming back now. But a lot of the software companies that we think are going to benefit are in the private sector. And Kathy is not throwing shade at NVIDIA. She's still saying it's a fine stock, but they've shifted their focus. That's why she sold off most of her shares. And the reason is that she thinks that the real cash cow isn't gonna be hardware anymore. The game is moving to where the big bucks are gonna be software. Generative AI is set to blow up, with the spending is expected to grow by 15% annually and will hit 1.3 trillion markets by 2032 according to Bloomberg. That's where the real opportunities will be. She specifically mentioned Palantir and UiPath as software companies that are set to cash in big on AI's growth. But if you look at software, many people say, well, we have so many software companies in, in the public markets. What do you mean? Uh, and what what we mean by that is we think that so- the software world is going to change fairly dramatically, uh, and we're going to see a shift, maybe a share shift away from software as a service towards platform as a service, is because engineers are going to be made so much more productive, developers m- so much more productive by OpenAI and Anthropic and X- XAI and Kathy Wood is saying that the very nature of software is changing and we're moving from the old school software as a service model to platform as a service. And behind this shift, there is some powerful AI models like GPT-4 and Anthropic Cloud. These AIs are next level. People can now create an app just from a prompt. AI agents are going to make engineers and developers superhuman. These aren't just tools, they're fully autonomous systems that can handle tasks on their own and no human is needed. Now, this whole platform as a service reminds me so much of Amazon's story. They started as an online bookstore, but look at them now. They've turned into this massive marketplace where literally anyone can launch their own storefronts. And that's kind of what platform as a service is doing for developers. Pass gives developers the tools they need to build customized apps on the cloud, just like Amazon gives businesses the tools to set up their own mini stores on its platform. And Palantir does the same for businesses. We're going to see companies uh, uh, customizing their own software, customizing software for their own companies, as opposed to just going automatically to, you know, one size fits all software as a service. uh, so, so think about Palantir and mm-hmm. Foundation models uh, and infrastructure as a service. So, so. I honestly think Palantir is going to crush it thanks to the shift, and here is why. Palantir worked on building a platform as a service from the very beginning. Don't just take my word for it. Hear it straight from their CEO, Alex Karp. Have one thing in common, which is I need my business to work better. How do you fix your margins? How do you turn your company into a portfolio? How do you understand where the risk allocation is, the capital allocation? How do you turn your non-engineers into engineers? How do you disrupt the distribution? How do you make up for distribution while distribution has capital costs? 
uh, the w nature of political uncertainty disrupts your products. All these things are solvable in with our product, your business acumen, your data, your way of going to business, and it, you can accelerate them. It, what I view is going to happen to us, which is become stronger, bigger, more successful, and actually happier because you do not want your best workers working on things that they don't enjoy, that there's no point in doing, where they're not productive, where they can't prove the results. And all those things are possible uh, it, with our product and with you. And it's just an incredibly exciting time. They've built two platforms, Foundry and Apollo, which helped companies to use their data in ways they couldn't even dream of before. And I'm not just talking about crunching numbers alone. These platforms can make complicated, data-driven processes so easy with its user-friendly interfaces. The thing is, not many companies are even close to what Palantir is doing right now. Sure, we have plenty of businesses that are using software and AI, but Palantir is in a league of its own with Foundry and Apollo. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching.